So now we will write the program to find the sum of n numbers entered by the user. Okay, so let's declare the variables first. So int n to get the number of elements. And after that, another variable say num to get the number entered by the user. Then another variable say sum which is initialized as 0. Okay, and then what we are going to do is first ask the user how many numbers are there. So slash n enter number of integers to be entered. Okay, so printf and scanf percentage d it's the number of integers to be entered so it will be and ampersand sign address of n so num number of elements is obtained as n and what about the loop you can use any loop so we'll use for loop so for int i equals 0 number of elements is n so 0 to n minus 1 i less than n minus 1 i plus plus this means that loop will be executed n times 0 to n minus 1 if i is 1 we will give it as i less than n okay so he i less than or equal to n minus 1 so 0 to n minus 1 means total n elements i plus plus and inside the loop what should happen again you should enclose a bracket each time in each loop user has to enter a number so printf slash n enter the integer okay enter the integer and scanf percentage d as it's an integer percentage d and the value can be saved in num and num Okay, and in each loop, sum is initially it was given the value of 0. So, sum equals sum plus num. So, you can give it a sum plus equals num. So, each and every time the new uh, value is entered by the user, it is added to the sum. This will be uh, executed how many times? It will be executed uh, n number of times, 0 to n minus 1. Okay, and outside the loop we can give the sum value as printf slash n sum equals percentage d and here you can print the sum okay it's a very simple program so let's check the output so first enter the number of integers or number of elements to be entered let it be say 5 and enter the value say 3, 5, 7, 1, 2. So now we entered 5 numbers. So sum will be 18. Okay, let's check. Okay, you got the sum as 18. Okay, you can uh, find the sum of float or whatever data type you want by changing this. Okay, so one thing. Initially, sum is given the value as 0. So, whenever you declare a variable for calculating the sum, initially it should be given as 0. Because the initial value sum to that variable, the new number is getting added. So, this will be, ex this will be uh, executed n number of times because n is the num value given by the user. So, here we write like this. So, okay, for int i is equal to 0, i less than or equal to n minus 1, i plus plus. Okay, the same thing or the same program you can write with while also. If you are using while, how you can write say, let's use a variable say i. So initially let's give it as i is equal to 0. You know that when we use a loop variable, it should be initialized in the beginning. So i is equal to 0 while i 
less than or equal to n minus 1. Okay. Or you can give i less than n. That will be sufficient. i less than. While i less than n. So that means 0 to n minus 1. While i less than n. Again the number is entered. And sum is added. And one more thing is that within the loop. There must be a provision to increment the loop variable. Okay, so we can simply modify the program from for loop to while loop. So, whether it is while or for or do while, there are three things. The loop variable has to be initialized, then condition should be given and variable has to be incremented or updated. So, all these have been included. So, let's check this also. Number of elements, say 5. 10, 12, 10, 12, 44, then 6, 50. So, you got the output. So, in this program, we will get a set of numbers, say n numbers from the user and out of that we need to identify the even and odd numbers and should uh, calculate the sum of even numbers out of them and sum of odd numbers out of them. Okay, so first we need to get the total number of elements. So that is given, uh, a printf is given and then using scanf you get the value of n. Now we will write the loop. So let's first try for loop. So for and loop variable you can initialize within for itself. So for int i is equal to 0, i less than n, i plus plus. Okay, so this is the for loop. And within that, each loop what all should be done? That is the body of the loop. So each time what we need is we need a number. So printf. Enter a number and the scan of percentage b. We are expecting an integer value, and so we need a variable for that. So we will give it here. So the number is saved in that variable scan of and num. Then what we are doing is we need to check if it is even or odd. So, we need two variables for calculating the so even sum equals 0 and odd sum equals 0. So, we need two variables. One to calculate the sum of even numbers and the other to calculate the sum of odd numbers. So, next is we are checking if it is even or odd. So, if num is the element. So, num percentage 2 equals equals 0. So, if this means we are dividing num with 2 and taking the remainder. If the remainder is 0, that means the number is even. Okay, if that be the case, s yes. even sum okay, that is our variable. Even sum plus equals num. Else else means it is odd. Else odd sum plus equals num. So, here we are checking if it is even else odd sum plus equals num. Okay, so this has to be repeated within the loop. Okay, so we will close the loop. So, here the loop is over. So, each and every time a number is entered and we check if it is even or odd. If it is even, it is added to even sum else it is added to odd sum. So, outside the loop, what we need is, we need the sum. Printf slash in sum of even numbers equals percentage d and what should be the print? Say, even sum. The same thing we can give for odd also. Sum of odd numbers is the variable is odd sum. 
okay so now you have the program let's check it if it is working enter number of elements will give it seven even numbers are two four six six plus six twelve twelve plus eight twenty again odd numbers three plus five eight eight plus seven fifteen so it's working so now we wrote the program using for loop now we will rewrite it using while loop so loop will almost remain the same but let's try to write it using while loop so in that case this variable has to be declared before say we will give it here so let the loop variable be declared here i is equal to 0 it is initialized then instead of for we are writing while okay while the syntax is it's followed by the condition so while i less than n so 0 to n minus 1 so while i less than n this should be repeated so when we write the loop we know that three parts one is loop variable declaration then condition then loop variable has to be updated within the loop so here you can give i plus plus okay so now you have modified the program with while so let's check the code output give say four five elements two, three four five six even numbers two plus four six six plus six twelve odd numbers three plus five that is eight so you are again getting the output now let's modify it to do while so this is this will come here and in syntax you know that there is a semicolon here and here it is just do so now we have modified it to do while do followed by the loop and then while i less than n terminated with a semicolon rest of the things will be same and you can ch check the output again so you have six numbers three four five six seven eight let's check even numbers four plus six ten ten plus eight eighteen odd numbers it is three plus five eight eight plus seven fifteen so again you are getting the output so the this program we have written with all the three loop statements for first with for loop then while and then do while okay so within the loop the, or the body of the loop remains almost same but what what whichever statement we are using make sure that it has a loop variable declaration initializing then condition and then updation and in case of while and do while this loop variable updation occurs inside the loop and for there is a standard format for initialization semicolon condition semicolon updation okay